over this uh, magnetic pulser for hair growth. Now, I sure don't want to make the claim that the magnetic pulser can grow hair, but um, well, I'm going to put something out that I actually kind of found out about. I remember like uh, studying a lot about Dr. Robert Beck, PhD. You know, if you heard of the Beck Protocol, it's like a four-part protocol. It's using the uh, uh, the blood electrification or blood pulsing, the colloidal silver, the ozonated water, and also the magnetic pulser. Now this is the one that's by uh, called Dr. Clark. Now I don't really, <laughs> I don't know, Dr. Clark was there, that's somebody else. It's, it's not, actually this device has nothing to do with Dr. Helder Clark, I don't think, but um, the, w the one I think was more accurate was Dr. Beck, definitely. He's not a doctor as a medical doctor, he was a PhD in the field of microelectricity. And I remember actually seeing some interviews with this guy going back before he got sick. You know, the whole spiel, just to kind of, you know, because this is really, I want to give you a little thing about it may be an experiment you want to do with hair growth. But to give you a little spiel about Dr. Robert Beck, PhD. I remember seeing stuff on him, even like, there might be some old YouTube videos even that still exist where he was heavier, he was heavier weight, he was more bald, and uh, he was basically doing some lecture um, with the government. It had to do with the, uh, you know, the countermeasures against uh, what the Russian government was doing against populations with frequencies. I don't know if you heard of this stuff, but I don't want to get too far off track. But he's been around in some high-end, heavy-duty stuff for a long time. He's not, you know, I noticed somebody could say somebody's a PhD, maybe that it carries more weight depending on who it is. He's been around. He's he's a smart cookie for sure. Um, but he supposedly helped cure his cancer with doing his dis rediscovery of a patent he saw. Right, that was the. And you probably people are familiar with that. But you know, he said his hair, and I I could see what the pictures were before. His hair grew back. Most of his hair grew back. He was mainly bald in the middle. Now. He, you know, I remember in one of his lectures, he said it was like from removing the parasites and restoring health and basically helped his body to just rejuvenate itself. And that makes a lot of sense. A lot of times people are looking for one specific problem, but if you concentrate on your overall health and your overall health gets a lot better, you know, that one specific problem that you have, that could get better too. It's, it's really common sense, and I don't think any medical professional will disagree that you know your overall health contributes to helping specific problems so generally speaking but the one thing I just found out basically yesterday uh, was that uh, it's uh, he used a magnetic pulser on his hair on the south side now I don't want to say that if you're going to use this magnetic pulser that your hair is going to grow back I think that's BS to tell you the truth and the way this magnetic pulser works it's not like you know let me put it this way just to give you to sum it up the north side is more for healing is for healing that's the side you should use at least 95% of the time the south side is for stimulation and growth now if you're using a side for stimulation if you have an infection it's going to make the infection grow faster. That's why, generally speaking, you definitely use the north side. Like, if you want to heal, in other words, and this is not something like a magic pill, and even adherents that believe in this stuff all the way, it's more like an influence. It's not like, you know, the one side that says healing the north side. It doesn't, like, kill pathogens. The best claims, and that's you know, I'll emphasize the word claims, are that it slows down their growth or inhibits their growth. So I mean, but you know, the common sense thing I saw with this device is it seems to be more used. It, it is actually coming about being more used in a regular medical profession, like they used it for stimulating the brain after somebody had a stroke to help them with recovery. That's been going on for some years. Some people look like they've been trying to treat depression with it. They're professionals. They're doing a little bit different. You know, they're, they're not necessarily um, going at it with a shotgun approach, but they're, they're using it. 
and uh, the device to actually treat people with. Some of the professional medical people are. And where you see it often used is in the veterinary world. You'll actually see this. You know, you'll use the magnetic pulse on the horses and the dogs and the cats for arthritis or to help them recover. And in the veterinary world, they, they'll say it helped. And I guess they don't get in trouble for saying that, you know. But from my understanding on this, it's not like it's... Uh, you know, a total miracle thing. It's more like an influence. You know, this influences uh, growth, the south side. This side influences healing, the north side. That's the theory behind it. I don't think it's all theory, but it's not like, you know, if you use the north side of this and you have like a, a major parasitic infection problem, is it going to make it disappear? No. It might influence it a little bit. That's about the strongest claims you're ever going to get out of even people who are big adherents of the magnetic pulsar. But what I picked up on is Dr. Beck, I saw in his other lectures, he says by removing the parasites in the body through blood electrification or blood pulsing using those currents that were developed in the Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York City, 1991, 92, and 93, by Dr. Carly Lyman, which supposedly, I don't know, you know, I don't want to get into politics of all this, but supposedly, I, you know, he said that helped restore his hair growth, but then I found out that he used the south side of the magnetic pulsar. And, you know, that makes a little bit of sense because it makes a lot of sense to me. Not that I think your hair would grow back immediately, but if there's anything that could kind of let me put it this way. If you have this device, it's probably not a bad thing to try for, you know, stimulating the growth of hair. Now, this device, what I like about it, if you notice, um, it has a volume on here. And you see the lights go, uh, excuse me, it's probably unplugged. Yeah, you can see the lights... Um, go like five seconds to hits red and then there's a hard pulse and there's a hard pulse well you can turn it down and uh, bring it all the way down to here see and you can turn the audible thing off too so I would if I was gonna actually use this to stimulate hair growth I would put it on the lowest setting and try it for 10 minutes a day I don't know if it's gonna work to tell you the truth but you know I picked up this information just recently, actually. I think it was more like yesterday, the day before. And I'm digging into all these different things that Bob Beck, you know, was talking about. And I remember him stating that his hair grew back after he restored his health. Well, most of his hair grew back. And, you know, that makes kind of sense to me. A lot of times, you know, you might have an unrelated problem. You restore your normal health and your body just works fine in other areas. And, you know, it is it is a fact that he was pretty much mostly bald. That I know. And then his hair did grow back. He didn't have a transplant or anything. But it wasn't just from removing the parasites. He was actually using the uh, south side of this paddle. Now, like I said, the south side of this paddle, normally you don't use on anything, only in specific circumstances, because it actually does uh, stimulate growth. You know, if you have a cut on, your, say, your hand over here or something really bad, and there's absolutely no infection, theoretically, the south side of this magnetic pulsar will help that he cut heal faster. But if there was an infection present and you used the south side, it would make the infection grow faster. That's the theory behind it. It's probably, it's probably more than theory. It's probably solid because it's... Um, being used a little bit more and more in the medical profession on humans and it's being used in the veterinary profession a lot of times on dogs, cats, and horses. Usually that's an indication that it works. But I just found out recently that Dr. Beck didn't just use the um, parasitic cleanser and the antiviral blood electrification to restore his health and get his hair back he actually used the south side of this pulsar. And, you know, it's... I don't know how much of a science you could say that's ironclad if it's in the realm of established science. It, there is a lot of stuff out there that shows that, 
there's not um, basically a lot of it comes from the Russians though that the south the, the magnetic fields can help heal and uh, also stimulate growth but basically the north side is more for healing the south side is more for stimulating growth so he used this in conjunction with other things but he actually did use the magnetic pulser to attempt to make his hair grow back and amongst other things and it worked I mean obviously it worked for him he did something and that's one of the things he actually did I think that's a fairly big secret but I want to say though <laughs> Don't expect this to work, actually. I mean, don't buy this device with the expectation that if you want your hair to grow back, it's going to work. If you decide to buy the device for other reasons, and I'm not selling it, you know. If you decide to buy the device for other reasons, and you don't have an infection on your scalp or anything like that, and you decide you want to make your hair possibly thicker or stronger or something, try the... Uh, south side for a little while but you don't need to use it too long and I would keep the uh, volume control down on like say this Clark zapper I would keep it down pretty far because you really don't need to penetrate the scalp you just need to get right where the uh, well you just need to get right where the hair follicle is you don't need to get into the brain too far or nothing like that you just want to get right on the top so I would use the lowest setting but I just want to offer this as a suggestion I don't think anybody's really thought of it before. And um, that's supposedly what Dr. Beck did. He actually, it wasn't just the parasite removing blood electrification and stuff that he did that restored his health. He actually magnetically pulsed around his scalp on the south side, which there are studies that say <clears throat> that the south side is for stimulation. But like I said, if you have an infection on your scalp or something, you definitely don't want to do that because it stimulates anything. It stimulates, you know, regrowth of tissue or it can stimulate uh, an infection or something that's bad too. So, you know, but normally you would use the, the north side. But that's what Dr. Beck did. That's what I've read that he did. It's an interesting hypothesis. So if you want to... If you have this device and you want to experiment with that, it's not a bad idea. So I want to put out something a little bit different that I think is useful. So, but don't have too much faith in it. Don't go run out and say, "I gotta buy this magnetic zapper because my hair is gonna now my hair is gonna grow back." I don't think it's gonna work that good because, like, little comments and says, you know, it it may have an influence. That's what I think. That's what I think. I think it may have an influence. I wouldn't get your hopes up too high on it because, like anything, it wouldn't be that much of a secret if it worked that damn good. But obviously, something worked on Dr. Beck, and supposedly that's this is one of the things he did. So I think that was very interesting.